Hello all, welcome to orotrainings.com. In this session, we'll discuss about how do we create a business object in AI agent in Oracle Fusion ERP. So let's see the steps involved. So we would like to design an AI agent which involves invoking a business object. So I can say like, I would like to invoke a web service from my agent. So what are the steps involved for that? The first thing is we have to create a business object the business object will be linking the REST API with the business object. Next one is we have to create a tool and the tool type should be business object and we have to assign the business object which we create in the first step. Next one is the agent team and in the agent team what we have to do is we have to first once we create an agent team we have to create an agent and for that agent we have to assign the respective tools. So let us see the detailed information. So as I said to you, the first thing is we have to create a business object. And you can observe from the screenshot here, I created a business object of the one which belongs to a family type PRC procurement. Product is self-service procurement. And we are invoking the purchase requisition. And here we have mentioned the function, nothing but which particular function you would like to invoke from that particular REST API. So we'd like to get the purchase requisition data based on the requisition number, you can observe the information in detail manner here. And we are providing a parameter called requisition number. So this is the first step of creating a business object. Next step is we have to assign that business object to the tool. So now we have to create a tool and the tool type should be business object. And then you can assign you have to assign the business object which we created in the first step. You can observe here three equation status below. So this is a business object which we created in the first step that should be assigned to this particular tool. And once the second step is done, and here we can create either the worker agent or you can create the supervisor agent. So I prefer that you create a supervisor agent. Once your supervisor agent is done, what you do is make sure that you assign the appropriate security role and then you create an agent and once you create an agent, you have to assign these particular tools. The first tool, which we like uh, the one which we create a second step. And the other one is the user session tool, which is a seeded one, which you have to assign to this particular tool, right? So once all these particular four steps are done, this is the final result of our agent. This is how it should look like. You have the top level is supervisor agent, this one. And then you have a worker agent, and then you have a tools. There are two tools you can observe here. The one is user session. And the other one is a requisition business object, right? So now let's just get back to our particular instance and let us try to run it. So to run this particular agent, like uh, let us say once you navigate to your business, particular agent teams, you just click on this run button or a debug button. So here you can observe that. It will ask you to provide the information. So now I would like to, for this particular agent, the input what I require is, I just require a requisition number. So I'll just copy my requisition number and I just provide here and just run it. And you can observe here, we got the information, this request number was prepared by so-and-so person and with a specific purchase order, supplier name, and all those things, right? You can try one more equation like uh, this one. And this particular one, right, the one which is an yellow part, this is only for debugging purpose. This will not be shown to the end user. And you can observe here this once you click on this particular view more and you can understand that what is the input which we provided the query view part query request is equal to the request number and the fields what we are expecting from this particular rest api output and this how the this is a result which is provided or generated by this rest api and then this particular rest api output the json one is formatted and displayed accordingly in this output right now let us try to design this particular agent now from the scratch right so now we'll just get back to the initial screen let us say if you're coming to the coming to agent for the first time so what is the first thing you have to do it right just click on tools and click on ai agent studio and you should be able to see the list of tabs here agent studio agent team agent tools all these things and our as i said the first step is we have to create a business object I'll click on add 
and I'll go with the procurement, self-service procurement, and I'll just say Tata requisition business object. Okay, so just make sure that you mention the appropriate one, and this is go with this monolithic. And here, this particular description, you have to be prepared with that information, right? So I'll just try to get some information which I already have it, and then so here. In the resource path, you just provide this one. And now click on add from specification. If at all the resource path which you provided is correct, it will generate a specific operation. Just check it out. I'll try to provide this. Then click on Add from Specification. Yeah, got Purchase Requisition. You select Get All Purchase Requisition. Click on Done. And now, so this is a scenario. And here you have to provide the appropriate parameters. And here in this resource path, what you do is you just provide the full resource path, which is mentioned like this here. So now in this one, it is expecting a parameter called requisition number, okay? And just click on Add Parameter, Get Requisition. Click on Done. And you can try the example also. And here, what you do is just provide the data as per the JSON format. Click on Done. Okay. And you can observe here, this is how it looks like. Click on Create. And make a note of your requisition. You can just here and observe this difference with earlier one also, which I created. This is the one, and this is a resource path, and this is a business function, right? And maybe you can also add up the description. Let us say I'll just go here and search with Tata requisition business object. Just provide this particular information, right? This business object written details on requisition. So our business object creation is done. Okay. Now, the next step is we have to create a tool, nothing but we have to assign this business object to the tool of business object. Let us see, understand that. So, I'll click on add and tool type is business object. And I'll say data recreation tool. It will generate that. Get recreation detail. And now here you have an option called Add Business Object. Let us try this. Just search with data name. And you just click on Add. And nothing to change or nothing to do. Any other changes, just simply click on Create. So our tool got created. Next step is we'll create agent team. From the agent team, we'll create agent. Okay. So agent team is a top level component, which is a runnable component. Okay. I'll click on agent team and click on Add. And here I'll just provide data requisition agent. Uh, it's always getting wrong. Let me try this. Yeah. And same thing, procurement, self-service procurement. And get requisition details. Okay. And here make sure that you add the roles. It's very important. Until unless you add a proper role, it will not work. Click on Apply, click on Create. So now the top level agent got created. Supervisor agent got created. Now we have to create a worker agent. Just click on this icon. And here you have an option called Worker Agent. Let's create a worker agent. So I'll just say Tata Requisition 
worker agent same thing family procurement self service procurement get requisition detail nothing to change at the llm just go with the default simply click on create now it creates this particular logic here you can see at the worker agent and the supervisor agent and now click on the tools and once you click on the tools it shows a list of tools which are available here and the first one you can just search just search data you should be able to see our business object click on plus symbol and it gets added up you just click on add now it will get added into your worker agent like this and similarly the other one the very important one just search user or get user session okay let's try once more yeah this one just click on plus symbol click on add okay now just click on the settings again check check it out whether you have a roles or not yes we have a roles and yeah so we are good so next thing is we need to know the input right so i'll just take one invoice the request number let's try to run now so i'll just provide the input the request number let us see what will happen so it invoked the business object tool nothing but the web service and if your web service returns a response definitely you should get a response like this and this response is derived from the web service output the rest api so you can understand that the business object is nothing but you want to invoke a rest api from your agent right so this is what you require in oracle fusion okay so this all about our invoking business object from the agent thank you